A hidden culture far from the high rises, pollution, and traffic jams of capital Tehran. 500 years ago, Portuguese traders brought thousands of Africans to Hormuzgan province, located in southern part of what was known then as Persia. Most were sold to other countries, but some stayed in Iran. Deeply rooted in Africa, Afro-Iranians' culture, especially the music, is vividly present whether in celebrations or funerals. Music is right there in their daily lives, African style. They don't even have to tell you, it's just so obvious. Kamran Haydari is an Iranian filmmaker who spent over a year in this community, making a documentary called Dingo Maro, named after a wild African wind. Dingo Maro has a significant meaning in their culture. Afro-Iranians believe this wild wind is present wherever music is being played, and if you're captured by it, it may take you far, far away. The film follows Hamid, a musician pursuing his biggest dream to carry on the legacy of African music passed down from his ancestors. One of the most fascinating and lovable people I've ever met, and I always want to go back to them. Heideri says he wants to show the true side, a side far from the politics and stereotypes. I try to make more realistic films, that once they are screened around the world, people can forget about the negativity portrayed by the media. I want people to see the other side, the happy side. The side of a people who dance to music carried by the African wind. Elmira Jafari, CCTV, Washington.